brought to you by Happy Cam Sports. Hello Bowls Club in the seaside township of Shell Harbour on the New South Wales South Coast. Australia plays Scotland in singles today. Steve Glasson against Willie Wood in the last game of this international series. Hello, I'm Steve Rebilliard for ABC Sport. Welcome again to the Warilla Bowls Complex and a match that really features two of the world's finest players. Steve Glasson against Willie Wood. Australia leading the series 2-0. Ian Schubach, the Scots will be looking for some revenge. Well, hopefully, Steve. It's not going to be easy for Willie Wood. He's one of the most experienced players in the world. But Steve Glasson, a rising star on the international scene. Willie would have been disappointed with what happened in the pairs to his teammates. Yes, well, he'll be looking for revenge, no doubt, but as I said, it's not going to be easy. The good thing in his favour, it's best of five sets, so it should be a long match, so there's plenty of time if he perhaps gets off to a bad start to work his way back with all the experience, I think. Should be an even match, but I think Steve Glasson. Let's have a look at those conditions of play and best of five sets, seven up. A 30-second shot clock, but that's only effective for the first three bowls. No dead ends, the jack will be respotted. And our marker for the match, Tom Ellum. Well, uh, a fine crowd in at uh, Warilla, and they're looking forward to this match. And seeing this man play, well known to uh, Australian audiences, Ian Schubach. He's had a couple of big results here. Yes, Steve, Willie Wood won the gold medal in the singles for Scotland in Australia. Brisbane Commonwealth Games, 1982, against Rob Perella in the final. And he was one of the winners of the Jack High series on ABC TV, I think in 1983. And as well, a couple of years ago, he was uh, at the 96 World Championships in Adelaide, as you can see there, part of the combination that won the triples. And uh, 82 Commonwealth Games, as Ian mentioned. Also a winner in Hong Kong and that uh, Jack High result back in 1983. So a sprightly and dangerous 60-year-old Willie Wood. Actually, Steve, I think he's more sprightly now than back then. <laughs> he was, Willie was well known for being... Perhaps, a solid side. Steve Glasson, well, half his age, but also at uh, the height of his powers. Uh, 97 Jack High champion. And a semi-finalist in that tournament as well. Uh, twice Australian indoor singles champion. And Australian fours champion three times as well. So we really do have two fine bowlers in action here. Yes, Steve, this should be a great match. Not too many players in the world of bowls more experienced than Willie Wood. Scottish pride on the line to some extent here after being, well, beaten in the triples and hammered in the pairs. Australian confidence will be up and maybe even a little bit of pressure on Steve Glasson. He doesn't want to be the one that loses Ian. That's correct, Steve. And, and Willie Wood, of course, he'd like to go home a winner. Over correction there from Steve Glasson. Took off a couple of metres. So early pressure for Glasson. Willie Wood holding one, maybe two shots. that front bowl of Glasson and uh, coming in for well looks like three so Steve needs to get one close here well just over correcting once again so after they've delivered their third bowl, the, the boys can take their time. The shot clock only in operation for the first three. So Willie Wood can amble back to the mat with a, a shot, no doubt, in mind, Ian. Well, he'd like to add another shot, Steve, but just behind, just beating the two bowls bottom of screen would be ideal for Willie Wood. Yes, needs something behind the jack. Just about what the doctor ordered. Oh, 
Well, the bad news for Steve Glasson is quite a few down, but there is a bit of room. Four down, we think. Be a disastrous start for this match if Steve doesn't save here. First set would just about be gone. <laughs> needs to uh, curl in and do the right thing for him and it might have it might have it has it's one to Australia and a good save by Steve Glasson and four down to one up that's a tremendous conversion Steve Glasson came in under a bit of pressure Willie Wood added to it with uh, the early stages of that first end but Steve was up to it Unlike in the pairs and triples, where the Australians found the uh, shorter length troubling the Scots. Steve's going for the longer one here. Yes, well, well he would be aware that Willie Wood is one of the most experienced players in the world, Steve. So I'm sure Willie Wood won't mind short jacks, long jacks, three-quarter length. In the ditch. Put it where you like. <laughs> And he doesn't let us down. I can see Willie Wood in the background and smile. He's very re relaxed for this match. Pretty popular here. I think a lot of Bowles fans with long memories know that he's been a, a popular and a successful visitor here. Three quarters of a bowl short. It's a sign of Willie Wood's experience. A lot of players on hearing that advice from the marker, Tom Allen. Three quarters of a bowl short of Jack High would switch to the backhand, but not Willie Wood. Johnson, a, a couple of successful outings for him in the triples and pairs. He's done his part. Steve Glasson playing weight early. This is only his third bowl. switching now to the backhand, trying to trail the jack or even rest Steve Glasson's bowl out of the head. That's a good bowl. <laughs> now is he uh, one or two? Difficult to tell. <coughs> two we think. And let's see uh, that last bowl. <laughs> Is uh, resting on the seam almost of the uh, of the carpet here, Ian, and the, the seams when they're well done don't uh, interrupt the uh, the tracking of the bowl. No, it doesn't affect the running of the bowl at all. A choice here for Steve Glasson: does he defend and just play delicate weight, or attack the head? Same weight as before, better line. Oh, well played, Steve Glasson. And the crowd is into this match. Well, that was a great <laughs> shot, but Willie Wood has three seconds and one bowl to play. So he'll be trying to dislodge that shot bowl of Steve Glasson's. <laughs> it's just a question in his mind, Steve. Does he drive at it for three or try and play control, wait, rest it out and stay for four? He's a Scotsman. He'll be after the most. <laughs> The easier shot is the drive. Oh, well played. 
A word of congratulations for Steve Glasson and I'll uh, just uh, seek confirmation. Steve Glasson. He has got three seconds. He only needs two shots for the first set. Very important here for Willie to try and draw a third shot if he can. If he draws a second, he doesn't want to create a target. That's a good bowl. Yes. Well, Steve Glasson. Rest the shot bowl out and stay for the two shots that he needs. Or pick up the jack on the way through. Probably a couple of metres of weight on the backhand. Just to save the first set. He's going to be narrow. And there it goes. First set to Willie Wood. And 7-5. Well, except for the very first end of the match, uh, Steve's not uh, been in the lead until now. So he's got a nice margin now, too. 4-0. You were going to play with your last one. I didn't know where to put more. A couple of twos. His confidence will be up a bit, Kelvin. Yeah, it's a great start for Stevie. 4-0 uh, up. Certainly his confidence will be high after that last end. He drew a couple of great shots there. So if he can get off to a great start here with his first bowl... He'll be setting this set up very well. Steve Glasson has brought the mat up again, two or three metres. Rolled the jack. 26, 27 metres. It's not a bad start, but the way Willie Wood is playing, one would suggest he may outdraw that with his first bowl. Meter and a half overweight. So important in a game of singles to get your first or second bowl very close to the jack. Let's see how Steve Glasson goes with his second. As far as that shot, please. Sorry? How far does it shot the jack came? Hey? Shot bowl is. Um... 10 inches short. Forces Willie Wood to switch to the backhand. Kelvin, we had Gordon Neal up here in commentary, the uh, Scottish manager. He felt that he had to speak more slowly because of his uh, sort of broad Scottish accent. Well, I was wondering if you were having trouble uh, at times understanding what Kenny Logan was saying to you. <laughs> yeah, Kenny, uh, it's quite hard to understand at times, but, uh, you know, overall they're um, quite quite OK if uh, they speak reasonably slower. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of them do have broad uh, Scottish accents, don't they? That's, uh, it's a nice accent to listen to. A missed opportunity for Steve Glasson. Most of us have been listening to Billy Connolly for long enough to get a, get a bit of a feel for it. <laughs> All the crowd trying to talk Willie Woods bowl in. May have made second shot there with that bowl. <coughs> Steve Glasson only needs three shots for the set. If he can consider perhaps resting that bowl out and staying for three. Or maybe just trying to add another on the forehand. Well, he switched to his backhand, Steve Glasson, so this would suggest a bit of weight.
You're shaking your head there, Shuey. You'd like to have seen him take out that blue bowl? No, I've, <coughs> I don't know why he switched just to draw. Probably didn't want to put the two bowls close together, but look at this plant up the front of the jack there. It's perhaps onto Steve's bowl. Willie Woods had a quick look at the head. He may drive, drive at the three bowls short, trying to make contact with Steve Glasson's bowl on top of screen. Would go onto the shot bowl, perhaps move the jack. I think we'll see firm shot played here from Willie Wood. Yeah, you're right, Ian. In it comes. Nothing. <laughs> Missed a lot, did Willie Wood. So what's it to be for Australia? Could be the, could be the set. Just two, though. And... It takes it out to a 6-0 lead in the second. He's in a wonderful position, Steve Glasson. Second bowl, a great shot, probably only about six inches short of the jack. Well, it's 6-0 up. Steve Glasson must have felt that he would draw level, one set apiece, but he's going to have to produce his best now. Wood with his delivery you'll notice here how he follows his bowl off the mat but the most important thing he keeps the shoulders down he doesn't come up at all on the delivery keeps the shoulders down and actually follows off the mat looks to have another pretty good bowl coming in here well that's two shots to Scotland Glasson needs one for the set Wood needs three. That's a shot ball. Oh, that's a great ball from Steve Glasson. Well, what does Willie Wood play? He's got two options, Steve. Backhand onto his own short bowl or the jack or through that little gap there, top of screen. That's what he's looking at on the forehand. Not much of a gap. It's very close. Mm, it's a hard shot, that's one. <laughs> well, you just heard Willie Wood say out loud his thoughts. That's a hard shot. That's one. He should be saying, come on, you can get this one, Willie. He still hasn't made up his mind. He's going forehand for the gap, looking for Glasson's bowl out clean. Chance. He's got the shot. <laughs> well, not the perfect result, but a pretty good one. Uh, Glasson still with one to play. Well, Steve Glasson will be saying just the same as your last bowl. It's always a little bit more difficult, though. Lucky result for Willie Wood. Glasson drawing for the set. heavy wide and on we go that's uh, one to Scotland and things tightening up in the second good shot Lloyd good shot 
to get something. Oh, it's like two good opportunities, John. Well, this second set starting to mirror the first. We had in the first set Willie Wood up 5 2 and 6 4. Finally won at 7 5. Well, Steve's had an even more handsome lead of 6 0, 6 3, 6 4, 6 5. Looking over his shoulder a little anxiously, I'd say, Ian. Yes, Steve. And Steve Glasson also made the comment to his opponent two missed opportunities, but he's blown there Steve Glasson and this is a maximum length jack rolled 33 meters Steve gets the ball away very smoothly doesn't he Kelvin it's a nice uh, economical action yeah he's got a very short swing for his delivery but uh he definitely gets that bowl away as smooth as silk. As you can see, he's got a great first starter bowl coming up here. Willie Wood follows his bowl off the mat. Needs to take off half a metre from his first delivery. Would have been okay had he picked up the jack, but well, that's a second shot for Australia. Willie Wood would love to try the jack, but I'm sure in his mind he'll be just trying to draw this shot. Could just rest on the jack high bowl. Ah, uh, top bowl, <laughs> Willie Wood. Jack Hoy, Tommy, that last bowl, or...? Um, quarter of a bowl in front. Thank you. Well, Steve Glasson, he's had two relatively easy shots prior to this to win the match, or win the set, I should say, and he's only got 30 centimetres of room now. Watch to draw this shot for the second set. Oh, drop of the head there from Steve Glasson. Bowl in the ditch, which... So he hasn't got really the best position behind the head. set live for Scotland. Steve Glasson having a good hard look at it, seeing how he lies. Now the uh, tried and true finger method. <laughs> what do you think, mate? Well, he's asked the marker for Tom Allen for a second opinion, which is quite okay. It's only an opinion, of course. He can't bring out the tape measure. Very tight. Tom uh, not willing to commit himself there. A favour one. Oh. It is tight for the second shot. One. That's the white line. Maybe favouring uh, Steve Glasson. Switching to the backhand. Just trying to draw the shot. Now, 
What's that done? He may have given two shots to Willie Wood coming down for a look. Two it is. And that's the set to Willie Wood. What a comeback. 7-6, Willie Wood takes the second. He's a tough opponent, Kelvin. Uh, Willie's he's been a world-class player. He's for a long time now. And for a guy of his age, 61, to be so competitive at international level, still it's uh, fantastic. Great powers of concentration and uh, obviously quite capable of uh, being on the green for you know, hour upon hour in an international competition. So he's a uh, guy obviously looks after himself. Yes, yeah, Stephen, the last perhaps 10 years or so, Willie Wood, he's probably dropped about five or six kilos and he really does work hard to keep himself fit. It's a loose start from Steve Glasson. Almost maximum length here, 33 metres. Well, the best thing about those two shots is the fact that there's no target for Steve to drive at. Both in line. Steve is really going to have to draw his way out of trouble here. Oh, that's a great try, but I think he's still two down. Wood switching to the backhand. He'll be very careful here not to sit this bowl alongside his other two. Just wanting to pass the jack. Or leave a gap. Well, that's three shots to Scotland. Well, this must be close for Steve Glass and Willie Woods closing in on this match. Willie picks up two or three here. Man of his experience, you'd back him in. Needs a good bowl, Steve Glasson. Might have it here. Oh. Oh, I think he's got the second shot. He has. Now, Willie Wood, would he be game enough to pick that gap and try and turn Steve's bowl out for four shots? I think he'll go for it. Well, up two sets and 2-1. Uh, would you have a go at that, Kelvin? Absolutely. I think uh, Willie's playing so well at the moment. I think he's got to give himself the opportunity to uh, just try and sit that bowl back a couple of rolls, make four, put him away to a 6-1 lead in this fourth set. He's got enough weight to turn the bowl out. He may draw another shot. Oh, I think he might have given the shot away. Just holding one. Scotland. Might have been a second if he hadn't uh, propelled the jack, but that's what's happened. So... One to Wood at the moment, Glass and one to play. Oh, he's got a lot of weight on this. Oh. That's a good result for Steve Glasson. <laughs> Looks like one. 
<laughs> Steve Glasson begging for two. Good shot, Steve. Good shot. Uh, well, he's going to measure it, but uh, it doesn't look like two. Oh, it's a lucky result here. Look at this drive from Steve Glasson. Terrible dodge. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the one, Steve Glasson, but uh, he's grateful for it. And it's 2-2 two -two in the third set. Steve Glasson has uh, brought the mat up a little. Certainly a shorter jack he's uh, after. Twenty-five, twenty-six metres in length. Not quite the start that Steve was looking for. Great bowl from Willie Wood. Kelvin Kirk has uh, slipped out and uh, George Adrain has slipped in. Welcome, George. You'd be pleased with uh, the way Willie Wood's playing. Yes, Willie's playing very well. He's caught the surface most of the time we've been here. Uh, he's been the most consistent player of our team. Uh, and his experience is carrying him through here. Steve Glasson failed to correct it all with his second bowl. Well, Willie Wood won't be happy with that at all. It's two shots, but it's a good target there for Steve Glasson to split those two bowls. Just a moderate amount of weight on. But <laughs> a little lucky but he'll take it <laughs> George that's the sort of luck you could have done within your match yes oh I've done well, an awful lot of that this morning yeah <laughs> no the boys against us this morning played excellent balls and we had no complaints Indoor bowls, George, uh, first bowl so important in your pairs match. Uh, Kenny Logan, well, to be fair, he really just struggled a bit, didn't he, really, with his first bowl particularly? Mm -hmm. Yes, and Kelvin was putting them in regularly. He was putting, putting us under pressure, and with two bowls in the pairs, uh, it's difficult to get back. Willie Wood, he's been so consistent with his first bowl. He's really very lucky to get out of that, uh, that last set from being 6-0 down. Yes, he... It, uh, you always feel that 6-0 down that you should really win it but uh, Willie Willie's got a lot of experience and it doesn't really doesn't really affect Willie he, he just plays away and he's very good at it and he kept his nerve and played some wonderful bowls and that's it I think it was a psychological thing for him to win that set you know oh, yeah, put the pressure on Steve uh, must have feel like uh, he's done a few rounds with Mike Tyson, Steve Glasson, after after losing that uh, that second set up up six nil. You, it's uh, really a body blow. Yes, it is. Well, he well he probably looking a meter or two of weight here, trying to promote his own bowl in for shot, pause, or the shot oh, bowl now. Shot. <laughs> And that's two to Scotland. Willie Wood on his way. And a 4-2 leader. And up two sets. You're getting some good support here too, George. Yes, a lot, a lot of Scots people here today and we've enjoyed it. Their, their support's been tremendous. 
a little bit similar, George, to your atmosphere at your home international clashes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, uh, the home internationals are, are really something else to, to, to play and very difficult to concentrate when you're six, six rinks all playing together. Uh, especially Scotland, England, it's, uh, it's something to see. Scotland, England must be like Australia, New Zealand, is it? <laughs> uh, probably ten times worse, yeah. <laughs> Willie's been making his first ball tell here in most ends and he's been very accurate well if he's good enough Willie can wrap up the match here score of three will do it yeah. and another good first ball <laughs> superb superb good reply from Steve amazing how quickly the game can turn around 30 minutes ago Steve Glasson was probably thinking it'll be one set apiece and everything to play for but can almost lose the match here and now I think some of the crowd have reached the point where I think every bowl is a great bowl. <laughs> In truth, that wasn't Willie's best, but a few people thought it was all right. I'm surprised, Steve, really, that Willie switched to the backhand. He played a superb bowl with his forehand. His first delivery, probably trying to block Steve. <laughs> He's getting closer. Still Scotland holding shot. needs to pass the jack if he fails to draw the shot but seems to be short once again Steve was just looking for a, a minor connection with shot bowl and he could have picked up a couple couldn't get around that Willie Wood bowl yeah but Willie's got to be very careful here I think he must try to try to reach the back bowl this time can't afford to drop shot this time we might see Willie switch back to the forehand getting uh, pretty restless late in the match sure they'd like to see this match extended to the fourth or fifth set but the way Willie Wood's playing it's going to be difficult for Steve Glasson it's a good positional ball from Willie had to get one pass there it's good and the right position there. Yeah. Yeah. Just one a few fans. <laughs> 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 oh. well, 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 Tom Ellum uh, assuring Willie Wood is one a few fans here. I'm sure he has. Well, Steve Glasson had his back to the shot bowl or the head when that bowl fell over. So he's probably visualised just trailing the jack. The shot is hardly there now that Willie Wood's bowl fell over. narrow <laughs> nearly found its way in but that looks like one to Scotland that is and yeah. Willie Wood inches closer to a win 
5-2. Yeah, but three tremendous balls from Steve Glass in there. Uh, bit unlucky to drop the shot there. Well, George, I know, uh, you know the result in the pairs didn't please you, but uh, just tell us a little bit about your impression of the surface. Uh, so gathering uh, thoughts from people about uh, maybe played a little bit quicker than it did uh, in practice. Yes, it did play a bit quicker than it did in practice. We, we felt quite comfortable in it in practice. Uh, but this morning it was very slick indeed. And, and we found it difficult to catch early on. And, but to be fair, the Australian players they played better than us. There was really no complaints, but it's a, it's a tremendous setup altogether at Warilla. I really enjoyed our stay here, and it's this club was probably one of the best I've ever seen. Oh, well, it's a long way back for Steve Glasson. Down uh, two sets and 5 2. Long way back to Scotland, too. <laughs> yes. Don't remind me. <laughs> been the problem for Steve Glasson. His first bowl has let him down on too many occasions. Loose bowl from Willie Wood too. Quite surprising with his first bowl but Willie's front bowl. Thanks Tommy. Willie's front bowl. That's uh, Gordon Neal. He'll be a little bit more uh, pleased uh, with uh, what's happening here in singles. Feet, mate. Not quite a yard. George, did you get much conversation out of uh, Gordon after the pairs? Oh, yes. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just go to suffer that in international bowls. It's, it's something that when you meet a, an international team, if you don't play up to the standard, you know that there's good international players against you and they'll, they'll do that to you. So. There it is, the trophy. Australians will uh, have their hands around it to a little bit later. Willie Wood appears to be attacking this head now. One of Willie's favourite shots. Controlled weight. Got something here. It's two shots to Scotland, but there's a lot of room for Steve Glasson. He's got two to play, whereas Willie Wood has only got one bowl to play. Fine bowl under pressure from Steve Glasson. Lesson. Can he pick up a couple here? Holding shot. Down 5-2. Crowd always keen to engage Willie in some conversation. That's what's happening in our ears. But we're watching Glasson not quite get a second. So it'll be one to Australia. And 5-3. Scotland lead. Well, Steve Glasson has rolled a fairly short jack here, about 24 metres in length to a fine start conditions back home in Scotland George at this time of the year greens will be quite uh, considerably slower there than what they hear at yeah. yeah the greens will be no more than about 10 or 11 at the moment is that sheep 
per green or seconds? Yeah, it could be sheep per green, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, they're very slow at the moment. Yeah. It's very difficult for, for the people back home to appreciate how quick the greens are in Australia and New Zealand. It's a great bowl from Steve Glasson holding two shots. Steve only needs four. This third set, so Willie Wood needs to be a little bit careful here. Well, he's driving, I think. It's got them. Oh. I'd be pleased with that result because he knows now that he can't lose the set on this end. The worst that he could drop would be three. Yeah, yeah well, Willie's particularly accurate at that shot. He's, he's so accurate. Shots are also, George, a little bit easier when you're two sets to love up. Yes, much, very much so. <laughs> A very good shot from Steve. Well, perhaps another drive coming up from Willie Wood. Yeah, Steve Glasson doesn't uh, like it all that much. Might have heard him say yuck. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh. Again, Willie knocks one out. Yeah, but he's cutting the shorts down. There's two drives. Is as Ian had just said that it's he's taken away, he can't lose it, he can't lose the set this end. It's and the most important thing of all, George, he can win the match on this end, not the set, he can win the match. He yeah. only needs two. Yeah. He's got the best back bowl. What does Steve Glasson do? Does he try and draw another shot? Does he try and go behind? I think I think Steve's really got this got to see the back ball, I would would think. He knows if he puts this bowl alongside the shot bowl both go for the match now Willie Wood just drives the jack into the ditch for the match or takes out the two bowls that's a great bowl Steve Glasson yeah that makes things a little more difficult for Willie Wood well he appears to be going forehand full-blooded drive looking for the jack He's under it. missed it and that's a couple for Steve Glasson. He stays alive and, in fact, levels in the third set at five apiece. Yep. Well, Steve Glasson once again rolling quite a short length jack at 24 metres. people doing running commentary out there George yes I'd get a bit noisy yeah <laughs> I thought it was just scotch it was supposed to be drink <laughs> well Steve Glasson is he back in this well that's a set lie for Steve Glasson going to be easy for Willie Wood to draw that off so deciding to try and draw with this bowl very close Jack. I think Steve Glasson will be trying to get too close with this. Steve would love to trail the jack himself, 30 centimetres, out of sight. Oh, 
Well, there's still two shots on for Willie Wood. Backhand trail for the match, or maybe drive the three bowls out. Yeah. Can he trail the jack? Close. Needs to turn. Needs to turn. He's got it. That's a good ball from Willie. It's very difficult to play that shot on this surface. He's got it back out in the open again. Uh, He's given himself a good chance with his last ball. Most important of all, George, he's probably saved. He's still two down, but he potentially probably saved the set with that shot. Yeah, if he'd left it to his last ball, it was, a, it was going to be very, very, very difficult to get back from there. He's given himself a chance with his last ball. So, Marnie, they're five all in the third. Willie Wood has the first two sets. to trial the jack but tactically it's not the shot to play he's set down yeah, must draw the shot two options forehand or backhand perhaps maybe on the backhand there's more of a chance for him to trial the jack really first option should be to well he's going for the bear jack and he's got it <laughs> and yeah, well in the match. <laughs> well, fortune favouring the brave. Willie Wood, a bowl shot for the match. A 7-5 win in the third. George, you'd be, uh, be proud of his effort there. Oh, yeah, that was a tremendous ball. It was, one, it was an in and out shot. And Willie, Willie plays it so well. A great comeback from uh, Willie Wood, particularly in the second set, and he was well down, but he comes back to win it in three, seven, five, seven, six, seven, five, and he's all smiles, he's entitled to be in. Gordon Neal, well pleased, and it was great to have you out here, George. Yeah, thanks very much, thank you. Here's another look, picking up the Jack Clean. Oh, Steve, that was a brave shot, but when you're in front, things go right, and what a result for Willie Wood. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll agree we've seen the three wonderful matches from Scotland and Australia. Please join me in thanking the teams. It's a pleasure to welcome Andrew Dingen, the National Marketing Manager from Asanda, and he has the trophy. The trophy is for the winning team. It's Australia, and it goes to their manager, Don Sherman. I take this opportunity to grab a, a few quick words with Willie Wood and Willie, uh, you played exceptionally well in the singles just now. Oh, well, I found the rink, I found the rink and uh, I like the long jacks and uh, the forehand going down was a treat and uh, I just loved playing going that way. You, you, did you bring your own cheer squad with you? You were uh, very popular instantly. <laughs> oh, well, there's quite a lot of Scotch people in the crowd there. But some, of, some of the Australians were panicking for me too. <laughs> well, you've made a number of successful visits to Australia. You've got some good results behind you here. Oh, yes, it's uh, my favourite country. Fantastic greens, and I, I really love the outdoor greens here. They're the best in the world, there's no doubt about that. And it's a treat to, to come to this country and play bowls. It's always great to have you here. Thanks, Willie. And to George, and to Kenny Logan, and to Gordon. And Steve, uh, he's a little bit good for you, but uh, a good result overall. Oh, it was a great win for the team. Uh, the boys in the pairs in particular played very well. Uh, the triples was a tight game and Willie was just too good in the singles, but it's been a great day and uh, we're pretty happy with the win overall. It's great. Do you think uh, you perhaps uh, let uh, Willie off the hook there? Are you up 6-0 uh, in the second? Oh, well, I think he just put his foot down and then got serious. So um, <laughs> I had a couple of chances, but he just played too well. So yeah, you. Perhaps you'll uh, all be uh, meeting again up in Kuala Lumpur. Look forward to some good contests in the Commonwealth Games if uh, things work out well. Certainly hope so, Steve. Looking forward to it. OK, thanks, thanks to uh, the Australian team and the Scots. The next international team to visit Australia will be the Welsh and we'll have that series for you. It's being played at Maryland's. We'll show it to you on Thursday and Friday, 9th and 10th of July. 
Hope you can join us then. I'm Steve Rebillard. Goodbye for now from Warilla.